In this course, we're going to look at designing and implementing an Active Directory physical topology, right? We, we, we just talked about logical topology, now we're going to move on to physical. Sure. And when we speak of physical topology in Active Directory, we're really speaking of the physical database and the machines on which that physical database is stored. These machines are going to be known as domain controllers, as you're already aware. That's right, and we are going to look at designing replication. Right, to okay. occur consistently and efficiently in an Active Directory environment, especially those that contain multiple domain controllers. And we're also going to take a little time and take a look at the implement implementation of said domain controllers, mm -hmm. uh, specifically focusing on additional options such as global catalog servers and their placement within the organization. And then finally, we will look at designing and implementing branch offices infrastructures. Now, the very first consideration when designing the physical topology will be the number of physical sites that are required. The number of physical sites will often relate to the number of logical sites. Now consider, for instance, a four location organization with the locations in Dallas, Houston, Miami, and San Diego. Due to the number of users in these locations, only the Dallas, Miami, and Houston locations require domain controllers. The San Diego location is a small location that does not require a domain controller. Using information from our information gathering session, we would determine which site we would like the users in the San Diego office to authenticate to. So I'm going to have to go and create subnets. You know, this might be a, a case where you could use uh, PowerShell. Did it again there. Uh, that's going to be that's going to be up to you, you know. But we need to create subnets now, if, and then associate them with a particular site, and so we can see how that's done there. Okay, let's take a look at what we've covered so far. In this chapter, we looked at designing and implementing Active Directory replication. We saw that the primary components that is used to control replication is the Active Directory site. Sure. So we began by looking at the information required in order to design and implement sites that represent the physical topology of your organization. Mm -hmm.